Hello everyone. Uh, my name is Xiao Ti Cui. I'm an assistant professor from Aalborg University. My presentation title is the feed gas composition effects on the green methanol production, dynamic simulation and surrogate modeling. Firstly, I'd like to briefly introduce uh, Aalborg University. Aalborg University is in uh, the, is located in Denmark. It has uh, three campuses. The main campus is in the city of Aalborg, which which is in the north part of Denmark, and the other two campuses are in the city of Copenhagen, and also uh, Asbjerg. Our lab is a uh, named the fuel cells and electrofuels laboratory. Our, our research is uh, related to uh, testing the testing of fuel cells and the electrolyzer cells stacks, uh, which are mainly PAM and uh, SOEC. We also have study on the fuel processing technology, for example, the steam reforming of methanol and also green methanol production. Uh, in addition. Uh, we uh, collaborate closely with uh, industrial companies uh, in the field of uh, hydrogen and also methanol. So today, uh, the topic is uh, related to green methanol production. Uh, green methanol production is a uh, is part of the the concept of uh, power to X where the power refers to the renewable energy sources such as wind, solar, and hydropower. And X it can be different, uh, can be in different forms, for example, different fuels and the chemicals and also heat and power. And uh, with the rapid in increase of renewable power, uh, all over the world, the power to X precise can store energy and help balance the electric grid. So the power to X precise, uh, in this precise uh, electrolysis technology, it's, it's like a bridge between the electric, electric part and the chemical part uh, where hydrogen is produced uh, from electricity. Uh, also, uh, uh, carbon dioxide from uh, carbon capture technology can also be uh, involved in this process. For example, uh, CO2 can be used for mass uh, synthesis or production of other uh, carbon-based chemicals. So power to methanol is uh, one option of power to X. A typical power to methanol precise uh, it contains it can contains the uh, the following system such as electric grid, electrolysis, CO2 sources, gas storage, and the green methanol production. So it it is a complex uh, system. Uh, where uh, different sections uh, from electric electric section and chemical sections are involved. So to design this system, there are uh, several issues to be to be uh, solved. Uh, for example, how to model this complex uh, system, and what are the strategies to operate this system, which uh, based on the intermittent renewable energy. So to address these questions, uh, in our modeling study, uh, we, uh, focus, uh, we, uh, we focus on the, the green methanol production and other uh, precise processes are not included in this study. Uh, firstly, uh, we considered the dynamic behaviors of the 
for the green mass non production by uh, using dynamic modeling. And secondly, uh, uh, we tried the surrogate modeling. It can be an, a useful tool for uh, further integration with other uh, subsystems in the future. So here is a, a typical uh, a precise of gray mass no production. Uh, this design uh, is based on our previous project named Power to Mat. It is designed for a pallet a pallet scale methanol plant with a production of around 221 tons per year and it includes uh, two sections uh, the first is uh, methanol synthesis in this section methanol is synthesized uh, from CO2 and hydrogen in the methanol reactor and after this section the crude methanol, uh, which usually, uh, which mainly uh, methanol mixture of methanol and water, the crude methanol is further purified in the distillation column, in the section of methanol distillation, and after this, we can obtain the methanol product with high purity. And uh, this precise is uh, in this study is modeled by using the commercial software Aspen Plus Dynamics and the PID controllers uh, are also used for controlling the system so for the system uh, there are there can be different dynamic operations a uh, dynamic conditions. Here we uh, investigate the influences of feed gas composition. The feed gas composition uh, uh, it can be uh, represented by the stoichiometry number which is calculated by this equation and uh, according to the also according to the, the following chemical reactions for mass no synthesis the typical uh, SN value is 2. Uh, in this study, uh, the SN value was changed by 5% up and down uh, to, to study the dynamic behaviors of the system. Uh, for the system, the energy analysis is also uh, conducted the energy analysis, uh, the energy efficiency of the system was uh, monitored during the dynamic conditions. The efficiency is uh, a key performance uh, performance index when connecting with other subsystems of power to methanol. And uh, the efficiency of methanol synthesis, methanol distillation, and the whole system are uh, calculated by the following equations which consider the heat duty of the uh, reboilers, heat exchangers, and also powerful pumps, compressors, and also uh, the input and the output streams. So this page shows the, the simulation results. Uh, the left figure shows the, the change of the SN value. It's a stepwise change. And the, the right side, the red figure shows the, the efficiency, energy efficiency of uh, different sections and the whole, whole precise. And we can see that the mass no synthesis precise, the energy efficiency of the mass no synthesis uh, precise a decrease when increasing the SN value and uh, the mass no distillation precise shows 
the opposite trend. And as a result, for the whole precise, the energy efficiency slightly decreased when changing the SN value. And also uh, the influence of the change of SN value, it last, uh, lasted uh, at least two hours after each change. And for the surrogate modeling part, uh, as mentioned above, the dynamic simulations are uh, conducted by using the Aspen Plus dynamics. But for example, for other parts, uh, for other subsystems, uh, for example, the electric grid, uh, they usually use other software platform. So to combine different subsystems, surrogate modeling can be an option to simplify the, uh, the modeling of the whole system. So uh, the, the, the simulation uh, results of the dynamic simulation for the mass node production can be used as the input and the output data for the surrogate modeling. And here we use the, the NARX model for the surrogate modeling. Uh, it is uh, commonly used for uh, uh, dynamic precise. Uh, the left figure shows the design of uh, dynamic simulations, uh, different durations after each composition change uh, are designed for the simulation, and the simulation results uh, are divided manually by uh, into three uh, parts for training, validate, validation, and testing. And the, the right side, uh, the right figure shows the modeling results uh, by the NARX model. And uh, it is obvious that the NARX model showed shows good accuracy for predicting the energy efficiency of the precise when uh, comparing with the testing data. Similarly, uh, other variables of the system can be modeled. Uh, for example, the left figure shows the flow rate of mass node production during the dynamic conditions and the NARX model can show the acceptable uh, accuracy uh, when comparing with the testing data. And this accuracy can be improved by adjusting the parameters of the model if uh, it is necessary. And the right figure shows the heat duty of the distillation column and uh, uh, the, the result, the modeling results by the NARX model showed very good accuracy for predicting the heat duty of the reboiler. This duty is the main energy consumption for the methanol distillation process. And also, uh, uh, more, more variables of the system can be uh, modeled in the same way. So in conclusion, uh, this study is aiming at the two potential issues for power to mass node. The first is uh, the dynamic operations or behaviors of the system, and also uh, uh, system integrations in the future. Also, uh, dynamic simulations conducted uh, were conducted by uh, the Aspen Plus Dynamics for the green mass node production. And then the energy efficiency fluctuates 
within 5% uh, with the uh, stepwise change of the SN value and the influences lasted uh, at least two hours after each change. And the surrogate modeling by using the NARX model showed good accuracy for predicting the energy efficiency and also other variables as well. So this study uh, shows an example of how to use uh, artificial intelligence in precise engineering. To be specific, the AI applications in the power to mass process. And thank you for your attention.